football's coming home. <laughs> Gradually. This is how it used to be, fans streaming along Wembley Way on their way to an England international in 2019. Now three showpiece domestic games at Wembley, the semi-final and the final of the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup final, will be among nine vaccine passport trials, with fans allowed back in the stadium in April and May. The government says it's developing a system for COVID status certification. The idea is to manage risks where large numbers of people are in close proximity. Not in pubs or restaurants at this stage, but at sports events and festivals, or in theatres and nightclubs. At this large nightclub in London, before lockdown it could accommodate up to 1,400 revellers. But the manager fears vaccine passports could be another burden on an industry already on the brink. If they're going to start cutting capacities, if they're going to start letting less people in, or we're going to slow queues down from coming into venues, you know, it's just going to have an adverse effect. It's just going to, you know, delay, de delay the inevitable. And eventually, venues will run out, they'll be strapped for cash, they won't be able to operate because the, the, the restrictions are just going to be too, too heavy on venues. The Cabinet Office Minister, Michael Gove, says the government is studying a green pass system used in Israel, which allows people who've been vaccinated, recently recovered from COVID, or have had a negative test to congregate in theatres and nightclubs. But there's strong opposition to vaccine passports from many MPs. This weekend, a cross-party group of 72 MPs signed a pledge opposing the scheme, claiming it's divisive and discriminatory. If the plan does require legislation, the government may try to win over the rebels by promising it'll only be temporary, perhaps for no more than a year. Besides vaccine passports, Boris Johnson will tomorrow also announce new plans for international travel this summer. Travellers will face a traffic light system. People returning from a green light country will not have to self-isolate but will need to provide a negative test before departure and after arrival. Those returning from an amber country must self-isolate at home, while anyone returning from a red-light country will have to complete quarantine in a hotel and bear the cost. Summer holidays to Europe will depend, of course, on vaccination levels on the continent improving and infection rates falling. John Craig, Sky News.